Good morning, Facebook friends. I'm really grateful I woke up this morning. And I'm grateful John woke up this morning. And I'm grateful you woke up this morning. It's a beautiful day. Yesterday was kind of humid and hot here with a little bit of rain. And I wish it would rain a little more. Uh, last night we had yoga here at the house for the first time. Isabel came who's the most amazing instructor, and Veronica came with her. Good morning, Rachel. We missed you at yoga last night. So every Monday we're going to do yoga here. Good morning, Diane. How are you, gorgeous? So, in fact, I got to see Diane on Sunday. She sat with me in Relief Society at church, and what a treat that was. I just love her. Mostly we text each other, and I got to see her in person, and that was a special, special treat. And I, In fact, one of the things I was grateful for on Sunday, I wrote it in my journal on Monday, was that I was grateful I got to see Diane and sit with her and see her beautiful smile. So we lift each other up, right? Good morning, gorgeous. So a couple of things. We did yoga last night, and I didn't know if anyone would show up or not. And we had 11 people doing yoga in our backyard last night from 7.45 to 9 p.m. And it was wonderful. So put it on your calendar if you live near me. We would love to have you come and do yoga with us. If you don't live near me, uh, watch a video or go to a yoga studio, studio near you and do some yoga and let me know how you feel because um, it's funny how I spent um, the first, um, good morning Brittany, you could come to yoga, you live close. And so I spent the beginning of yoga being frustrated with myself because I used to go to yoga five days a week and now I go to yoga zero days a week until last night and it's amazing how tight our bodies can become when, um, hey gorgeous, our bodies become tight when we don't stretch all the time or stretch frequently. Even this morning when I got out of bed I did some yoga poses uh, to start the day which I hadn't been doing because we got to keep our body moving, right? Motion equals emotion, right? That's a bold law. Anyway, I'm going to read you a couple cards and the first one is about respecting yourself. And I think this is so important. It says, make an eternal, internal commitment to respect yourself and feel worthy of all the universe has to offer. If you disrespect anyone or anything that God creates, you disrespect that creative force and tarnish your connection to the power of intention. So we have to be respectful to everyone and, and especially to ourselves. I think sometimes we don't think we deserve success and happiness and joy. And of course we do. So, in fact, I wanted to read a little bit out of Wayne Dyer's book that I put right here. And he talks a little bit more about this, right? Hold on one second. My phone's popping up some stuff. It says right here, So by loving and respecting yourself, you're hosting God and inviting the energy of creation to your consciousness. John, I need you to not do that right now. To your daily life as you connect to the power of intention. The energy of intention and your self-respect. If you don't believe that you're worthy of fulfilling your intentions for health, wealth, and loving rea uh, relationships, then you're creating, you, you're creating the obstacle that will inhibit the flow of creative energy into your daily life. Okay, so you could be inhibiting and be the obstacle to creating that energy of daily flow into your life. So... You are worth it, right? I always say choose the right because you're worth it to my kids and to you guys. And you guys are worth every success, right? And you have to learn to believe that because if you're going to connect to the abundance and the power of intention, you have to have positive energy, right? And the higher your frequency, right? Intention itself is a unified energy field that intends everything into existence. This is from Wayne Dyer's book, page 135. In the lower frequencies, you find shortages and problems. Intention itself, you need to have high energy, right? So be super positive. So I wanted to read you that. Then we're going to read another card, right? So the next card is Honor Your Body Temple. You've been provided with the perfect body. I know. I kept telling myself this. This is for me. You've been provided with the perfect body to house your soul for a few brief moments in eternity. So regardless of its size, shape, color, or imagined infirmities, you can honor the temple that houses you by eating healthfully, which I'm working on improving in, 
Exercising started yesterday. Listening to your body's needs and treating it with dignity and love, right? We can pay attention. I know if I eat sugar, my face breaks out and I don't feel as great, right? And I know if I eat gluten, I feel really sick. Everyone's bodies are different, so pay attention to the foods you're eating and the substances you're putting in your body and see if that's a, ref you know, if your body's resonating well with it or not, right? And then I'm telling you, I was trying to reconnect. Sorry about that. So those are two quotes that I wanted to share from Wayne Dyer today. Then I wanted to talk about one more thing because the yoga was amazing. Everyone was talking about it this morning. And Isabel is going to be giving us homework for to do during the week and customizing it for herself. She's going to take pictures of us that only she will see and you will see at the beginning of a 10-week period and at the end. And um, she's going to be giving us homework specific to each one of us. But I wanted to talk about one more thing about relaxation. Uh, my friend gave me this coloring book and these... Um, these pencils and I started coloring and I don't color very uh, well but I started coloring in here and I just wanted to say that if you haven't colored in a long time I used to color with my kids all the time uh, I find that coloring is somewhat relaxing so I think you can go to any bookstore on Amazon and buy coloring books I think they have them at Costco anyway something that if you're looking to relax I think that coloring might help and then the last thing I want to read to you is a Zig Ziglar quote. Um, I just love Zig Ziglar, and it says right here, Never blame anyone in your life. Good people give you happiness. Bad people give you experience. And the worst people give you a lesson. And the best people give you memories. Isn't that true? Don't we learn from the people who mistreat us? And don't we uh, enjoy the good things? And that's what brings us the happiness. And the best people give us memories. So everything's an experience. Everything we learn from, right? So choose to have a great day today. Hi, Tim. How are you doing today? So choose the right because you're worth it. Remember this healthy mind, healthy life. And at 2 o'clock today, we're going to be going to... Uh, Mar Bellamy, I grew up with her daughter, and uh, her she's on the committee, the Just Serve uh, committee with me, with the Public Affairs Committee at church. She painted her house pink, and her, um, I'm so glad you're doing well. She painted her house pink, and she was all excited. Her daughter posted on Facebook, and I asked her why she painted her house pink, because as a realtor, that's pro I wouldn't probably recommend. If you're going to sell your house, that's not the best color to paint your house to sell. And, but she is so cute and darling. She's one of the most positive people I know. And so she um, offered, uh, agreed to meet with me today at 2 o'clock. And I'm going to ask her some questions that, um, that how does she de uh, define success and what, how has she become so happy? Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate that. We have to, I'm helping me be more positive and helping everyone else be more positive. That's one of my big goals and big whys in life is to spread love and light to everyone and help everyone become more positive. It starts with us, doesn't it? Anyway, Mar Bellamy, tune in at 2 o'clock or watch it later because we're going to go interview her. And literally, she's one of the most kind, positive, uplifting people I've ever come across in my life. She's just darling. We're going to show you her pink house. She loves pink. She told me that the reason she painted her house pink is pink makes her happy and it's her favorite color. So she's darling. You won't want to miss her. Also, share this video with somebody that you think could benefit from it. Go out today and do something kind for someone else. Remember, a smile doesn't cost anything. Sending a text to someone and uplifting them doesn't cost anything. And um, you guys can make a huge difference in the world. And remember... Go after your dreams and goals. Yesterday I was making my calls and I was evaluating. I love having my coach. Uh, I sent her a message about a situation on the phone that I think I could have handled better, even though I think I handled it great, but I think I could have handled it better. And um, she's going to help me figure out how to do that better next time. So we can always be fine-tuning and becoming the best version of ourselves. Um, anyway, next week, yoga. Right here, 7.45 to 9 p.m., bring your blankets and your yoga mat, blocks if you have them. If you don't, just come, and we'll put, put some get stuff together for you here at the house. Anyway, you guys have a great day. I'm going to get to the office now. So I'm going to just review really quick.
Respect yourself, right? You're worth it. Why not? Why not you be successful, right? Honor your body temple, right? You only get one body. If you screw your body up, you don't get a replacement, right? So I'm going to be starting to pay more attention to what I put in my body, and I'm going to start exercising more. And I hope you guys do too. Also, if you have any quotes or anything or any comments that you want to leave, leave them down below. It helps other people. I'm going to post pictures of these quotes that we talked about today. And then my last thing is, is that I'm really loving coloring. I would never have thought. When my kids were little, I loved coloring. And um, I don't really know how to color that well, but it's all good. Um, anyway, find something that relaxes you and you enjoy. And you guys have a great day because you're worth it. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Brittany said yogurt at my house. <laughs> She's so cute. I don't know if it's still recording or not. Hmm?